Well, I think it sort of opens up the whole world's mind to who the Pope can be and what the Pope can be. Uh, for such a long time, we insisted there could never be a Jesuit Pope, but part of our Jesuit charism is to realize that we need to be available for whatever God calls us to, and in this case, one of us is called to be Pope, so he's living our mission in a sense. Having a Jesuit Pope has surprised the whole world, including most Jesuits, because many Jesuits were asked, will there ever be a Jesuit Pope? And they all said no. What's wonderful about having a Pope that's Jesuit is that he's so Jesuit in the way he thinks and talks and, and his spirituality is integrated into his decisions and his language. I think Pope Francis brings the court of the spiritual exercises, brings the Ignatian and Jesuit spirituality into the priestly ministry, into the papacy, to see the world, to find God in all things to see the matches, to see the goodness of the world, to see the challenges, but also the goodness where God can be found. Welcome to the United States. Uh, esta es su casa. Uh, we're happy that you're here and uh, we love you. Bienvenidos, Papa Francisco. Woo! Pope Francis, welcome to the United States. Papa Francisco, bienvenido a los Estados Unidos. Mabuja! Welcome, welcome to the United, United States, States, Pope Francis. Bienvenido, Papa Francisco. Welcome, Holy Father. We're so delighted to have you here. We hope you have a chance to experience something, the uh, vitality and the energy of our church. Uh, we're delighted that you are on the chair of Peter, and we're looking forward to working with you uh, in whatever ways we can. Welcome to the United States.